they just can't keep their hands off each other. <laughs> we should have had the whole fall down. He, he fell down spectacularly. Hey, I'm Sam Dewan. Hey, I'm Katrina Balfe. And I will be reacting to some of Outlander's most, hopefully in a good way, iconic, iconic moments. moments. Oh, I'm ready. Yeah, I'm ready. God, this will be fun. Oh. Yeah, I'm excited. Don't you dare. Stand aside at once. You break his arm if you do it like that. You have to get the bone of the upper arm in the correct position before it slips back into joint. How does that feel? Better. Back at the very beginning. Wow, I love it. This was the first scene possibly, I think, that I ever shot. Jamie Fraser has a dislocate, dislocated shoulder and um, had this prosthetic on. And it really was the first day, the first scene, I think, sort of inside in the studios. And we were all kind of getting to know ourselves and our characters. So that was one of the first days shooting with all the hairy Highlanders, as we uh, affectionately call them. So in the background there, there's Dougal and Murta and, and Rupert and Angus and um, but uh, it was quite funny because we also had to speak Gaelic and uh, I think all of us were kind of coming to terms with how to speak Gaelic uh, and there were nerves around and I think some of the Gaelic was kind of made up it was really was gob gobbledygook we were just saying whatever came to our heads um, but yeah really fun um god that that feels like a long long time ago I remember that was in a real a real kind of broken down house or whatever in the middle of uh, nowhere. It was freezing cold and we were shooting uh, all night and it was lashing rain and it rained so much that we had to cut shooting short. We were supposed to be shooting all night and they had to cut it short around 2 a.m. because all of the cars and the trucks were getting stuck in the mud. I disagree. Yeah, I think her stomach did a flip and she just ignored it. Yeah. She's like, oh, nope, Frank, 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 Frank. Yeah. Because the scene, there's a scene where um, Jamie comes off the horse. He's been injured after uh, a bit of a battle and uh, he wakes up and she's trying to help him and bandage him. Um, and I think after that, I think that's the real moment where he wakes up and is like, what is, who is this angel? Mm -hmm. um, but I think, you know, who's to say? You might be right. I mean, certainly he's drawn to her. I mean, she's completely yeah. different to anyone that he's ever seen. So mm -hmm. it could be, it could be, you might be right. It's, they're so strong between the two of them. Who knows? They just can't keep their hands off each other. I love you. Uh, the dad. Ah! <laughs> oh, we called this the dance because um, this is where Jamie sends Clara back through the stones, um, the end of season two, and such a magical scene, I think, for all of us. I mean, I actually am getting teary with that. Uh, that was an amazing day. You know, I think sometimes there's just a really magic energy on set. And that place is so special. Craig Nadude, where we shoot all, all of that. It's, I, I think it's a real fairy ring, you know, it, or there's some real standing stones there. It's, it's got a little magic touch to it. Um, and when we went on set first thing that morning, there was like a Disney, like dusting of snow on the ground everywhere. And it was so special. And Sam and I, we're trying to figure out how to get them from this point to the stone without, you know, when, when neither of them want to go. So how do you get two people to go against their will? And, and yeah, it was a really hard thing. We were trying to figure it out. We were trying to figure it out. And, and sort of organically, the two of us came up with this idea of like just dancing to it. And it was like this, and it, and it is, they, they're just locked into each other's eyes. They are locked into each other's soul. And I'm telling you, I'm getting goosebumps and stuff because it was such a, it was one of those moments where, you know, you know that you and your partner are on the exact same level 
and you're connecting in such a deep way. Yeah, I think for me and, and Katrina, we really love that scene. Um, you know, we worked closely with Matt B. Roberts there, the writer at the time, and um, it was just such a magical moment. And then, of course, all the snow melts and turns into mud. I know, you should cut that together with some sort of, I don't know, waltzing music. <laughs> But it was, uh, it really is a very standout moment, I think, for both of us. We, we both love that. I'm telling you, when we stopped filming that scene, our our crew, who are a hardcore, hard hearted group of Scots, um, and I'm speaking mostly about the men, but everybody had like a little, a little tear in the eye. So, yeah, that scene's really special. Diana knows how to get in to your heart and just ring it. <laughs> he's got some good some good lines, Jamie. It seems to come out of nowhere, but um, yeah, I reckon he's been thinking them up. I reckon he's been working them out. Stand for someone to have something else that belongs to you. You do belong to me and you are my wife, whether you like it or not. Well, I don't like it. I don't like it one bit. Oh, um, feisty, feisty. So that was also our uh, chemistry test scene. So I think we were dreading having to revisit it because we were just feeling like, oh, we've already done this so many times. Is it going to feel contrived? When I think even shooting it, she probably said that I pushed her over, um, which I did. I pushed her on her, her ass. Yeah, we just went for it and it was just, it's fun. It's fun to be that angry and not have any consequences. <laughs> but um, but it was such, a, you're tearing my guts out scene. And I think uh, it was just such a visceral, strong, high emotional scene for them. And for to audition as well was, you know, crazy, but it, it, it is kind of Jamie and Claire. They're always, their battle of wills, certainly in the beginning of their relationship, they're always kind of um, locking heads. But I think that's what makes it also so, so strong and sexy and, mm. you know, yeah, two very strong characters. Oh. Claire. <laughs> we should have had the whole fall down. He, he fell down spectacularly. But yes, this is when Claire comes back to him. This is season three and it's, you know, he's been years without her, never expected to see her again. Yeah, you know, that was really hard to film because I think we knew, we knew how important that was. You know, the expectation on these two characters seeing each other again for so long. I think uh, an iconic moment for the fans, but I think for us as well to, to try and recreate that. That's, that's what's so great about Outlander is that it has iconic moments and for us to then be given the opportunity to try and recreate them is, uh, is incredible. I think it was the start of a block, but you know, we were so far away from each other. I was literally up on a, on a second floor and there's a balcony kind of thing where she's looking over. But again, it's just about finding those moments of connection, even though when you're like di physically distanced from each other and, uh, and yeah, and and then it was trying not to um, trying not to giggle at Sam laughing or at Sam falling down. That was a that was a fun one because also you know Jamie's just in a completely different world. He's in his printing press world and doesn't expect to see her. Um, so yeah, that's a good one. Yes, yes, I win something. I win oh, something. thank you. Thank you for watching me react to Outlander's most iconic moments or almost all of them. Please check out season six.